Um, well, Passion Pit was, um, to say it quite bluntly, a, an accident, um, a fairly pleasant accident. But uh, it happened. It 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 came about out of my lack of uh, focus and attention to the things that I was supposed to be doing. And of course, the sound itself came about uh, because I had no other instruments really to record with. I was basically stuck with a computer and a lot of time. And uh, and I just discovered a program I hadn't written in a few years. I, I had writer's block, or I was depressed, or something. I just just hadn't written. And the the program kind of facilitated this very easy approach. Kind of throw something at the wall, see what sticks, rearrange it, find a way of you know. It, it was a very interesting way of approaching this kind of music, like, you know, building block kind of uh, writing method of writing songs. <clears throat> and um, I just began compiling song after song after song. And um, at the time, my relationship, um, uh, you know, the problems were basically all of my own. And uh, I, w- I had no money. I, I, I didn't even... Uh, at the time, have enough money for Christmas gifts or anything. It was always like, I owe you dinner at this restaurant, and I owe you this, and <laughs> and uh, and ended up becoming this Valentine's Day present because Valentine's Day is the most ridiculously stupid holiday I think has, that has ever been created. Sure, there there has there's got to be a stupider one, but in my head, it was it's the stupidest. So um, I thought it'd be really funny of, since I hadn't given a gift to my girlfriend at all for any of these like you know more notable holidays if I gave her a Valentine's Day gift. It was a bunch of songs. This was basically me just me just apologizing to her. And then it, it was a very personal thing. We met, you know, because we both loved dance music and we loved, like, and, and we had this joke about my voice because I could reach these really high notes. Um, and it was a joke. And, you know, all the songs on Chunk of Change were, like, one take recording into a Radio Shack microphone directly into my Macintosh. I, I had no money at all to record it. And uh, and I didn't go back when we released it. I didn't go back and re-record anything, which is a little embarrassing now. Uh, didn't think we'd be talking today at all, ever. Didn't think it ever this would ever happen. So uh, it, it's it's it was an accident. On on the road, it's very hard for me to write because I'm focused on trying to become a better performer, um, and that seems to take over the. It seems to kind of like quell my creative side, you know, dumb it down a bit. But um, when I'm off and I have off time, it's kind of like this, uh, like a like a waterfall. I can't, I, you can't stop it, and I and I'm and I'm always writing. So I mean, in terms of the next record and and dealing with the fact that you're working on a record that's lasting a, a pretty long time. It's great therapy. Staying focused. I have the attention span of a fly. So, uh, you know, I have enough people being like, okay, tour, 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 and, and work and, and get better. And, and I think that's actually going to really benefit us in the end. My track record isn't exactly one that a record label would say is uh, sound. Uh, I used to have, when I was in high school, I had like 12 projects. I would write, you know, eight songs. We'd play a show maybe two shows if I was in the mood. And then I would uh, stop, like quit the band, stop it, and we'd create another band. And they're all like projects co- with very specific concepts in mind, like very interest, like specific sounds. Um, uh, I mean, that also translated into like a lot of different endeavors, like <laughs> startup companies and, 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 and films. and But... Uh, I think um, it, what, I, what, my, what I'm what I'm saying is that I I would have released if if I hadn't been advised correctly I probably would have released it the second I was out and been like okay let's go you know like let's do another record I probably could produce about twelve records in a year if I could you know but I that's not the way you're, you're supposed to do it I guess <laughs> and uh, and I think that that the people we're working with um, are really, really smart and know when to uh, give people the 
our material and introduce our, introduce us to they knew when to introduce us to the world really because most of the world hadn't heard us at that time and if you just throw it out there and we hadn't toured in that area before it would just kind of I mean not like record sales are like my like what I'm doing this for but I mean we'd like people to hear it and 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 have access to it and that's that's radio and if we you know if we had if we had released it the way I probably would have released it I would not be talking to you today